Hey guys, Tech Tech Man TV here, and Google just unveiled Android 2.2, aka Android Froyo, at the Google I.O. conference yesterday, May 20th, 2010. At the conference, Google went over basically everything about Android 2.2. In this video, I'm just going to be giving you an overview of what to expect in Android 2.2 and all the new features, so stay tuned. There's not actually too many new features to the home screen in Android 2.2 like there were in Android 2.1. For example, in Android 2.1, there was now moving background support. In Android 2.2, there's only actually two new features to the home screen. Number one, on the bottom, where there's kind of a dock widget right now, it's at the very bottom of the screen. Google actually added two more little widgets there, a quick link to the phone application and a quick link to the internet browser. Now, that's basically the only major, major update right on the home screen where you can see it right away. Then the second update to the home screen is in the Google search bar, which is standard to all Android devices. In the Google search bar, if you actually go to search, you're going to be prompted to actually be able to search just in contacts, just for apps, or just in the internet. The next main update in Android 2.2 is how fast everything's going to be. With Android 2.2, Google promised much faster all-around performance for your phone. To begin in the browser, there's now going to be two to three times better performance overall. Also, there's two to three times better JavaScript performance by itself. Google is actually calling the Android 2.2 browser the fastest mobile browser in the entire world. They gave a little speech about that and they showed a little chart and it appears as if in the chart that Android 2.2 is going to be about 35% faster than every other mobile browser. And if that's true, that's definitely just a very fast browser. Also in the browser, there's actually now camera access and compass access. Another major update in Android 2.2 is that every single device with Android 2.2 is now actually going to be able to be used as a mobile Wi-Fi hotspot. So you're going to be able to tether your 3G internet over to connected devices. You can also actually save applications to an inserted SD card you have into your device. So it's going to be very easy to transfer different applications to other Android devices. You can actually set your applications to update automatically, which definitely will save you a lot of time. And one more thing about updating applications, you can actually update all your applications at once, which is definitely something that Android was missing in the past. And another major, 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 major feature this time, and yes, I said major like six times because this is definitely a major topic, and this is that there's going to be Flash in the browser on every single Android device. I know that the Nexus One, for example, and the Evo 4G already have been announced to have uh, Flash in 2.1, but now every single Android device that has 2.2 is going to be able to have Flash in the browser. So you can play Flash games, you can view Flash videos, you can really do anything Flash related in the browser. Those are the major, major topics in Android 2.2. There's of course some smaller topics and let me just go over those right now. For example, the first smaller feature which is very, very cool is for example, you're on your computer on the Android Marketplace and you download an app over there. You can actually over the air sync the application to your mobile device and it actually works for music as well. And also talking about music, you can now stream your iTunes library onto your Android device which is definitely very cool as well. There's over 20 new enterprise features also related to the security on your phone right now you know that there's the android lock screen where you basically make a pattern and it's very cool there's little dots you can make a pattern and use all nine dots just like on basically every mobile device there's actually now an option where you can just do a standard pin so you can just have your password as like zero 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 that's basically it for my overview of android 2.2 thanks a lot for watching this video if you have any questions about Android 2.2, feel free to leave them below and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.